Hello, welcome to Spotlight on Cirrus. My name is Jackie Kirkup. It is Tuesday, December the 5th, 2023. This evening I have Monique Perry from Whitfield Drugs here to join me Hi. and tell us about the uh, Christmas supper that will be coming up in the community. So we're super excited. Um, we have uh, partnered a little bit with the Keystone uh, Capital and Associates this year. Uh, we kind of run with it. They are just guiding us from afar. Um, it is going to be on December the 14th, Thursday, December the 14th, from 4.30 until 7. Okay. And uh, it is, oh, what you're going to get to eat is absolutely <laughs> amazing. We've got turkey, and we've got ham, and we've got stuffing, and we've got meatballs, and pierogies, and uh, I don't know if I said potatoes. I think you did. Did I say yeah, potatoes? Yeah, some buns. And buns, and, um, and salads, and uh, then we've also had uh, numerous local ladies come forward with lovely desserts. Now, I don't think you can ever have too much dessert, but I there's agree. lovely desserts. I would skip all of the turkey ham and meat, meatballs and just go to dessert that Absolutely. would be how i would have supper monique how can um like how do people come to this uh supper is there tickets and is there a charge so we've had tickets out in the community for a little while most of you uh will recognize this poster that had been circulating um we had had tickets at uh, keystone capital and associates we had tickets at lt's corner store uh antlers and oak um Cirrus glenwood canada post and uh, Whitfield Drugs, of course, and Woodfire Deli. And I do believe there's just a few tickets left now at Whitfield Drugs and Canada Post. Okay. Um, we only printed about 400, and it seems like we've gotten almost all those people uh, taking a ticket. Now, I'm, not sh I'm sure we would not turn anybody away at the door. If you come in, you'll be seated. You'll, you'll, you'll be supper. seated. Yes. And I know it's, uh, the tickets are and I, uh, to help you... Uh, just keep to track. prepare and prepare for the numbers. Yes, so, you know that's that that is important too, right? Yeah. You don't want to have an abundance of way too much, and also the other ways. So I think that's exactly what happened last year. They were planning on a lot more, and I I think there was a really bad storm, and so they had a lot of food left over. So right. this year it was kind of deciding where do we go with this. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah, exciting. So these desserts that these local ladies are um, making, when should they be dropping them off at the hall? Any time on Thursday, uh, December the 14th, we're there from 9 a.m. in the morning and we'll be there until we close. So at any time that it's convenient. Now, most of them I have gone and phoned. I've, take, I've been really good this year. I took phone numbers. Oh, so I could go back <laughs> and tell them uh, anything because I was so new. I wasn't sure of all the questions. Right. And so is there a need still for desserts? I'm going to say uh, yes. But, uh, but it, only if you really would like to do so. We do have lots of ladies who have committed, but it's always nice to get a little okay. bit more. So if, maybe if someone is looking to donate a dessert, they can get in touch with you. Absolutely. Oh, that would be awesome. Um, so what are you doing um, to prepare for the 14th? You doing some things on the 13th to get ready? Yes, we uh, have availability of the room the day before. And we are we have asked a number of people if they would uh, come and help us decorate. We've got some lovely groups out there that have also come forward, like 4-H and, um, and the Cirrus Daycare have mm -hmm. also offered to help us with some stuff. And if anybody else would like to come on that day, um, I don't have a huge budget for decoration, so we're being really creative and, of course, need band power when you're creative. Absolutely. I've worked with Monique on a few things, and this, she is <laughs> the queen of creativity. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and it's also a lot of fun to work with you. Good. So you had mentioned to me earlier about on December the 13th that there might be another job that needs to be done in that morning. So um, tell us about that fun job. Actually, on the morning of the 14th, oh, okay. if Pardon we me. can. But mind you, if I get somebody on the 13th, I'll get them <laughs> in for the 13th. We managed to uh, get our hands on uh, a lovely load of potatoes, but they do need to be cleaned and they do need to be peeled. And so we are definitely looking for artistic potato peelers out there <laughs> or or fluent potato peelers excellent that sounds like a really good sell to yeah, get somebody yeah. there to, to peel some potatoes so if they would like to come on the uh, on the morning of the 14th anytime after 10 i Perfect. think we'd have everything ready for them oh that sounds great so and you know just a simpler thing to volunteer if you have a few hours and can peel i will give you a, a stool potatoes. And the, yeah. yeah you don't even have to stand to do it oh well that's i, I think i might come <laughs> <laughs> Um, also, too, wondering what will be happening at the Christmas supper. I know Christmas or the supper is happening, but is there any sort of entertainment or 
other things going on? Uh, some exciting things. Uh, you're also involved in that as well. <laughs> um, uh, one lovely thing, and we are trying to get a little entertainment, people who uh, sing. Uh, we've had one lovely uh, person come forward who'd like to do some songs. I'd like to find a few other, maybe a few ladies that maybe caroled or something. We don't need a huge repertoire. Um, maybe a few songs would be lovely. And then at 6 o'clock, uh, we have Cirrus and Glenwood Foundation um, presenting the awards that they have selected this year. Yeah, I'm excited for that. It's always such Me a too. Uh, pleasure to be able to give money back to community groups. It's one of the, the more, um, like, well, I enjoy all the committees I'm on, but yeah. just it's just a feel more rewarding. Rewarding. Yes, yeah. absolutely rewarding. And I think it's a it's an added magical component to this dinner. It's the right time of year to give away money and mm -hmm. uh, to make other people feel a little bit more yeah. rich. Yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely. Um, you had mentioned about the volunteers. I'm just surprised about the amount of volunteers that have come forward. Um, do you need more volunteers? Is there a way to sign up for specific shifts to say wash dishes or do clean up? Sure. I think, uh, well, we've got quite a few already. I don't want, like, we we're thrilled and overwhelmed with the response. Please, thank you so much. Um, but I think there's always people needed at the end of the night. Um, if they can stay, that would be lovely. Uh, we do have dishwashers working right all the way through, but I do, I do understand there's always tables to put away, there's sweeping to be done, and it's always at the end of the night that you're looking for more. Absolutely, and sometimes maybe fresh people, right? You know, because the other people have been helping all day long, and yeah. that's kind of like the last thing you want to do because <laughs> you're so exhausted, and it's just like, oh my goodness. So yeah, yeah sometimes that's that be a fresh fresh set of legs and and, uh, and it would be nice too because I do know that um, uh, the uh, rink was so kind as to uh, uh, allow us to have this dinner because they were in the process of about to pull the kitchen out Ooh, wow. uh, so they would like us out of here as quickly as mm. possible I'm sure excellent well that's yeah. exciting to hear about that yeah, project yeah. Uh, yeah. going forward as well um, I just was wanting to uh, talk to you about uh, the possibility of maybe the handy transit uh, being available to go around the community and pick up some that uh, may not be able to drive or get themselves to the community home. Uh, absolutely. Uh, they did this last year, I believe, for the first time, and we're going to continue it again. Uh, I will be putting up little sheets in um, the hotel uh, at uh, Crescent Manor and at the Victoria, the Victoria Park, Park Lodge. Lodge. And um, we're going to have those up tomorrow, and we were hoping that people would sign up by Sunday night because on Monday I would like to come and then deliver them to the municipality. They will okay. look after phoning you and getting all the arrangements oh, made. Oh, that's great, and what a wonderful service oh, to be able to offer that could, out. Honestly, big kudos to the municipality or we couldn't have done it. Absolutely, that's wonderful to hear. Um, also sometimes, uh, or in the past, um, that there have been deliveries of food being um, made available to those, again, that might not be able to come, but you know, want to eat maybe yes. personally at their own home. Um, so is that something that's going to be offered this year? Absolutely. And I, we've also had a couple of people who've actually asked if they could eat with a friend, too. Uh, we haven't been taking orders for that yet just because I was a little behind. Mm -hmm. But as of tomorrow, if anybody would like to give me a call, my phone number is 204-726-4778. And I will gladly take your order, or you can also ask at Whitfield Drugs. Um, I just try not to overwhelm them with all the things that I'm doing. Absolutely. So if you do want to call me, that's great. I'll also give my phone number at the end of the Oh, perfect. Thing. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Um, I know there is a great amount of, of other people, businesses, uh, individuals that are also uh, making some significant contributions to this, this meal. And it won't, you know, if it wasn't for them, I don't know what would be happening at this time, but I know you have a lengthy list over there that you would like to read out and uh, I just to share. Really, yeah, I really want to say thank you. I mean, when, um, when a business comes on board and says, we'll take this over, we really did think we were taking it all over. Mm -hmm. We had no idea that we had so many partners mm -hmm. that were willing to do this with us. So I just wanted to say, uh, first of all, my biggest thank you goes to Mark Bellin and uh, Prairie Rose Meats. Oh, how I thank that man. Uh, Maneri's Bakery, obviously, for the most delicious buns yes, there is and some great. dessert. Uh, Darlene Schwartz, um, the Prince family from Waskeda, Antlers and Oak Diner, uh, Chicken Chef, 
LT's Corner Store, Miss Loretta, uh, the Danielson family, uh, Ben Marks of Brandon, and uh, Wood Fire Deli. I want to say that uh, Alex and Maria have offered to come and make fresh churros. So Ooh. I'm not sure how this is all going to go, but <laughs> we're going to get it trying. So oh, sounds we'll great. see what happens. Excellent. Uh, just hearing, you know, just talking with you, Monique, it just is warming my heart. And I'm getting that little, you know, tingly feeling, you know, the excitement of Christmas, but just the sense of community. Oh, it just is. It yeah, was amazing. overwhelming to us. It really, we thought we were kind of swimming by ourselves. And to be constantly pulled out of the water by this person and that person, it has been amazing. Oh. It's going to be a beautiful night. Oh, I'm certain it will be. Um, can you remind us again what the date and time is? It is uh, Thursday, December the 14th from 4.30 to 7. I, I did forget this part. We are going to have a table uh, with um, a Sandy Denbo is going to be sitting at this table. When the volunteers come up, she will help to orchestrate where everybody goes. Oh, So excellent. that'll be really helpful, I'm sure. Um, so it's from 4.30 to 7. Uh, and um, we would love to see as many of you as possible. If you want to come out and help us with decorating the evening before, the afternoon evening before, we'd love to see you. And uh, if you're a potato peeler, we'd love to see you on a Thursday morning. Excellent. And other than that, we'd just love to see you for dinner. Excellent. Oh, this is just so exciting. And I, you know, can, my appreciation to you for taking, taking this on. Oh, thank and, you. Um, you know, continuing this tradition that's been going on in, in service. I cannot wait, and honestly, you are all still very much involved with me and will be for all those ones going forward because this is, um, it, we feel like we've just been passed a baton, mm -hmm. but it's a very important baton. Absolutely, I couldn't agree more. Wonderful. So if anyone has any questions, um, they can call you, Monique. Yep, that's 204-726-4778. Excellent. Anything else that's... I think we've got it all wrapped up for the Christmas supper. Can't wait. Excellent. So we hope to hear every see everybody on December or pardon me Tuesday. Oh my goodness, I can't even talk. Thursday. Thursday. Thursday it's my last interview. <laughs> Thursday, December the fourteenth, from four thirty to seven p.m. Lovely. Can't wait to see you. This was a presentation of WCG TV Access Twelve.